Good morning guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today is a little bit more of, you know, just kind of like an errandy day. And you know, I haven't really shown this side of kind of what I've been doing lately. So I figured maybe today would be kind of a cool day to just vlog. I don't really have so much work per se to do. Um, so in the meantime, let's just go get some stuff done. I do have some errands, obviously, that like I just said, I gotta run. So, you know, uh, let's go get that done and we'll explain on the way. All right, so first stop of the day is, um, you know, I think I should probably go and get some more protein powder because I just ran out. Um, so here I got a bunch of rib nuts because, you know, these are things that I always need and uh, they come in really handy. So go get yourself some. And then something I'm always using at the shop every single day, 50 times a day, is markers. I've tried a lot of the different brands of like, you know, the ones that, you know, don't clog up with dust and et cetera. Honestly, the ones from Walmart, the Heart brand, are the best. The Milwaukee ones are pretty good, but I didn't like that they weren't permanent. So if you smear it, it, you know, goes away. These ones are permanent, but they also wipe away with acetone. And then I always need scissors because I keep forgetting to buy some. And I found lately, instead of using cardboard to, you know, mock up brackets, construction paper shout out to my buddy Corey for showing me that stuff stencil paper whatever you got so it just works so much better but yeah so that's kind of what we're doing today um something else i gotta do is i gotta run by the laser shop because i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram or not if you don't well you should follow the pop-up on the screen as it goes by and you should go check out my page because it's kind of cool sometimes i don't know you can see a lot of my stuff that's not on youtube on there but anyway so i've been working on some Del Sol stuff. Um, I was borrowing a buddy's car because I obviously don't have a Del Sol anymore. And uh, you know, I wanted to redo the mounting point for the roof brace for the Del Sol that I offer. Um, Cause I know it's, you know, tight fit and all that stuff. Some people have really big issues getting it to fit. And I always hated that because you know, that's not a product I want to offer. So tried revising it. Hopefully this new one's better, but I have to go get the part drawn up. And then while I was at it, uh, I had some messages because I posted s showing that I was working on Del Sol. Had some people asking about harness bars because I guess nobody makes harness bars for Del Sol. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So that's what I got here is a bracket unbent yet um, that I'm going to take to the laser shop with me. And I have the harness bar that I made, the trunk, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get something drawn up. But the laser shop is over by Hasport, so I might just stop in and say hi really quick to Brian, see what they got going on. I uh, haven't been over there in probably like a month and uh, yeah, you know, it's always cool to see them So yeah, maybe we'll pop in and say hi to those guys All right, first stop right now is GNC because it's partially on the way to the freeway So just making a pit stop there like I said to get some more protein powder I just spent like $160 at GNC. Uh, I basically, the guy was super helpful, very, you know, good at explaining what it is that ideally I need for my goals. Um, so I went and basically just got a big tub of like a, a mass gaining protein powder and then he gave me a bunch of supplements to take to help, you know, with testosterone and mic micronutrients and such. And then because I spent, you know, that much on those two things, I got a big old tub of, you know, everyday pre-work, or not pre-workout, uh, protein. So. Did that, we just got some gas, got a breakfast sandwich, and now I just pulled up to the laser shop, which is, you know, back there. Hopefully we can get something drawn up with these parts, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, just leaving Hasport now. Uh, I didn't bother filming while I was there, because you know, I was just saying hi, not a whole lot to film. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head down to the shop now. I gotta let the kid that owns the Del Sol come pick that up, and then I'm gonna probably try and tinker on some of those yeah, harness bars. So we'll, uh, we'll go get some work done. Just pulled up to the shop, got opened up and stuff. So this is the Del Sol I've been using for the last few days to uh, redo the harness bar fixture over there. And or I'm sorry, the uh, roof brace fixture over there. And then also prototype this harness bar. So this one is done. Like this is, you know, the prototype one. So it obviously fits. I'm gonna build the jig off of this one. And then I just dropped off the plates to get drawn and hopefully cut and bent with this stuff. But I didn't realize how expensive that stuff is to get done. Like I, I've had parts laser cut before and drawn up and stuff. Like I get that initial cost, 
but getting stuff bent up is super pricey because this place that I'm going to, for example, they charge 220 an hour for their bender. So obviously it's one of those things, the more you get, the more affordable it is. So for me, I'm only going to start with a batch of like, I think five or 10 of these. Um, and the first like three of them is just going to be recovering costs from doing this. And like, I know that's how it works, but it's just still kind of, for me, a, a sticker shock getting into this. But yeah, and then I got some M8125 rib nuts because I'm always needing those and I never have them. Um, but as for the DA harness bars, I have three DA harness bars here that I'm going to try and get knocked out today to, you know, have them done. I finally brought my fixture down. I got to finish bending little mounting plates and stuff for them and then, you know, assemble them. And then this thing will be here in the videos pretty soon. Um, probably the next video, actually, because this thing is getting some cool work done to it. But we'll save that for another day. But you can kind of somewhat, you know, already tell what this is going to be all about. Yeah. And I signed up for another track day. So on the 28th of this month, which is January, I will be racing at Arizona Motorsports Park. And, you know, you guys are welcome to come down and hang out and watch. It's out by the Air Force Base. Um, for you locals and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a big group there. We're gonna have you know me DJ my girlfriend his girlfriend our buddy doge our buddy Hen Henry um, And maybe some others, but yeah, if you guys want to come hang out Show up it's free to you know free to spectate and if you want to ride along bring a helmet pay 20 bucks and sign a waiver And then you can do some ride-alongs maybe with some of us, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start working on this while the guy is on his way to pick up the Del Sol and we'll kind of pick up from there Because I definitely don't plan on being here all day um yeah, especially since it's already going on one. finished up doing those DA harness bars at least the main part right here I'm just prepping for welding these are the support rods that bolt to the floor um, except I don't have any weld nuts I gotta go to today but the store that I go to closes like really early at like 3 and it's almost 4 right now so yeah, I'll have to save that for tomorrow call it a short day today I suppose but yeah there we go let's get out of here Well, at the house now. Uh, good thing we got some work done today. I'm pretty stoked on that. I just had some lunch. I've been trying to, you know, work on the stuff that I'm eating a little bit, not eat, you know, as much, drink as much soda, not eat such, you know, so much fast food, stuff like that. Try to eat more stuff like, like this, for example. These are, you know, carb balanced tortillas, and I like making those as snacks with like, you know, turkey, cheese, lettuce. Keep it simple. So, you know, a lot of chicken, broccoli type stuff, uh, rice, all that stuff. But yeah, when I was at GNC this morning, this is what I got. These two giant things of protein. So this one's for basically post-workout 
only on workout days and this one is kind of for whenever slash you know meal supplementing if i want it and then i also got some vitamins supplements type things which is kind of what i'm in the process of taking right now while i'm watching some young static and uh these things are huge i already took the two biggest pills and i i have kind of like a anxiety with pills in general so this is new for me but like this is one of the smaller ones and this thing's still like damn big but yeah i don't know i'm trying to just get into all that stuff a little bit more but yeah came with a month's supply of these supplements of the guy you know it's got creatine you know stuff with them you know for your muscles and then it helps regulate testosterone levels i don't know do any of you guys do this type of, stu type of stuff you know work out you know do gym stuff take any of that seriously besides cars or care for yourself or whatever um because it's pretty interesting to me but yeah we're getting there we're trying something else all right moved into the next day now i didn't even really finish filming yesterday after that last clip of you know talking about the foods and the supplements and stuff i ended up just going to the gym and then coming home playing some pokemon and stuff and hanging out for the night um but yeah so today is gonna be roughly the same thing you know i gotta go get material and then i gotta go to the shop and you know swap some ball joints on my dad's car and then you know, just basically a simple day because uh, we won't be starting that other job till tomorrow, which by the time this video is up is probably going to be already started now with that Volkswagen. But yeah, I don't know. Shorter video at this point, basically all just talking, but I figured it would, you know, be kind of fun to show you guys a little of generally kind of what I'm doing day to day if I'm, you know, at the shop or not at the shop because, you know, each day is the same but different, if that makes sense. So, you know, kind of the same routine, but it's always pretty hectic. And then there's just so much that goes into doing all this, like not not the YouTube stuff. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. At this point, I'm just kind of filming whatever I film, and uh, hopefully people find it entertaining and relatable in some aspect of the next. But this whole doing the business stuff, like it's just uh, people like Brian at Down at Hasport, like I don't know how he even has time to breathe. I mean, having you know a full staff, uh, his YouTube channel, you know his family life, stuff like that. Plus, you know, trying to run a business like any of you guys that do that just so much respect to you like it is it is hard but we're out here we're trying to make something happen but you know i'm not going to drag this video out and bore you too much and again i apologize that we didn't do anything crazy but hopefully some of you guys found it you know kind of cool to just hang out while we went about my day if the feedback on this video is decent you know maybe we'll just you know do a few more of these here and there and maybe get some more you know day-to-day -day stuff in there you know less talking a little bit more b-roll type stuff per se so you can kind of get a more of a visual of what I do. But anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me, spending some time out of your day with me. I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you want to help support the channel, I do have merch and such in the big cartel. Link in the description. I also have, you know, Amazon and Vivid Racing affiliate links that kick me a few bucks if you buy something through them. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get this day started. And, uh, yeah, do what you love. Figure out the rest. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.